Welcome fans to 2K Sports Tuesday night presentation of NBA basketball. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Milwaukee Bucks going up against the Indiana Pacers. I'm Kevin Harlan with Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg. On the sideline, David Aldridge. Mike, make sure that tie is cinched up tight tonight. These teams like to fly up and down the floor. It's going to be a beauty. It's a good thing I remembered my tie class, Kevin. This should be such a fun matchup for us and for the fans. They'll have us on the edge of our seats. And that one's good, the dude. Look, getting the first points on the board is a nice way to start, and they're hoping they can hold on to the lead for the rest of the ball game. A lot of basketball to be played, but it's always nice to start out on top. Here is Seasting. Outside Williams. Good on the shot. Just muscling his way through the defense. Williams refusing to be denied. Now here is Moncrief. From 18 feet away, that's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Clearly, he's found his rhythm early in this one, looking to score whenever he can, whenever he has. And this team encourages him to be active on offense because they understand how dangerous he can be. Seasting passes to Williams. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. Inside, Williams puts his big frame to work and gets himself a close-range look. Here's the dude, and there are the Bucks with another bucket. Big effort gets the big reward, simply outplaying the defense. The dude's gone a perfect three for three so far. Seasting passes to Johnson. The jump hook again, Indiana. Tough matchup because of the height differential, but he did a nice job carving out space for a shot there. Craftiness beating size. The dude, and again Milwaukee with the triple. This is just solid offensive awareness. Moncrief sees the open shooter and knows to get him the ball. Carter looking around. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. Here's the dude. And he just worked New York in that last game. Here's the pass to Moncrief. Here's the dude. And another three for Milwaukee. That's just a really smart, high IQ play, making the taller defender run around on the perimeter so you can get what you want. Yeah, it's smart to use your speed to your advantage in these situations, which is exactly what he did. If you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. The dude passes to Moncrief. And here is Johnson. Down low, here's Lister. Takes it off the glass. And that pass from Johnson was on the money. Gotta appreciate that selfless attitude. Pacers trail by seven. Pass to Kellogg. Yep, it counts. Kellogg. He assists. Jerry Seaston. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. Here's the dude, and another three for Milwaukee. He is determined to hunt shots out there on the perimeter. And it is paying off. He's finding a big chunk of his points from three-point range. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over.
Some nice passing here by Indiana. Kicks it to Williams. Pass to Johnson. Shoots from the block. And there are the Pacers with another bucket. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Johnson, the pass to the dude. And again, it's Milwaukee converting. The team first mindset of Marcus Johnson. What a catalyst. Great play there. Pacers trail by eight. Here is Seasting. Looking at his point production, he averages almost 11 points a game. Johnson surveying the floor. It's Moncrief on the wing, defended by Carter. And Moncrief gets it to go. Right out of the starting blocks. They've been dominant at the offensive end. And that early momentum has helped them put together a nice lead. Here is Seasting. Wide open shot is on the money. Seasting's got his second basket of the night. Superb use of the pick and roll. Seasting realizes exactly how to break down defenses. Puts up a deep three. And another three for Milwaukee. Nice looking shot. How good is that? Especially from way downtown. Woo -hoo. That's nice. Yeah, you have to be feeling pretty good to put it up from out there. Here is Seasting. Passes to Johnson. Fader on the way. That's it. And he's now three for three and looking sharp. Knocks down that jumper easily over the taller defender. Not a high percentage look. Coach doesn't mind as long as you make it. The dude missing. Well, that was a nice individual defensive effort there. Did a great job to contest the deep ball. Moncrief the pass to the dude. This one for three. He's still up. Now he is nine of ten. Training threes left and right, making it rain from behind the arc. Nothing the D is doing has worked which is why they are going to continue gunning from outside the arc. Seasting with the bucket. Good work from mid-range. Seasting knows when he should shoot from there. Timeout called the Bucks. A different look from Milwaukee. Jerome Kersey's checked in for Lister. As he comes in for Johnson. And it's Macy in for Moncrief. The Pacers making a switch here. Milwaukee leading by 10. Here's the dude. Connects again from distance. Looking to stretch this lead out even further, going right after his shot. And the defense continues to not be up to the challenge. Henderson outside. Pressy against Johnson. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Trying to weather the storm, Clark. A couple teams around the league have been hit hard by injuries so far. Yeah, and you think about it, you're hoping that your injuries are short term because you can survive those a little better. But if you have a starter or a star player out for an extended period, that's almost impossible to replace. And he sinks the second. And so it's Milwaukee with it, leading by 12. Here's the dude. And it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. That's Macy doing his job. He's out there to keep the offense moving, spread the ball around. And there's a minute 45 left in the first quarter. Johnson, the pass to Henderson. That's in, coming off the assist from Johnson. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. And here is Macy. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. And that one's good, the dude. His hot streak continues. Night after night, making his presence felt offensively. Seasting passes to Johnson. Here's Stepanovich, covered by Kersey. Knocked away. 
fast break, Milwaukee. And, you know, when some people look at Paul Cressy's game, and they see really kind of a jack of all trades, maybe the beginning of the point forward role, but when he's on, he can operate at a high level. Actually, came into the league the same time I did. And so he's able to get one of two. Pacers trail by 15. Read the pass to Stepanovich. 51 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's the dude. The 19-footer is on the money. The dude's got 33 points. He's been a reliable offensive option, currently maintaining an impressive field goal percentage in this game. Seasting passes to Henderson. Here's to Panovich, and the basket is good. Well, I'll tell you what, Henderson can be an effective dime dropper, like when a guy is that open. Bucks leading by 15. Macy with it. Nothing on the board. Brewer passes to the dude. And another basket for Milwaukee. You know, the screen wasn't that great, but still he got it done. Excellent concentration on the hard finish. Here is Seasting. He has six. Out to the right wing. With the fadeaway. What a play. He simply trains it in at the buzzer. He was doing whatever he wanted to out there. I love how he closed out this quarter. The D looking helpless to stop him. He's running all over them. And so it's Milwaukee riding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their work from beyond the arc has been a highlight. A lot of threes finding the bottom of the bucket. And we'll be back with you shortly. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time. So an entirely new grouping now for Indiana. The shot's good on the assist by Johnson. Seasting's got eight. Inside, amongst the trees, Seasting relies on his quickness. That's how he beats bigger guys. Elbow shot, and it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. Pacers trail by 18. Seasting passes to Johnson. Took him no time at all on that one. He's got nine. Yeah, Seasting has good vision on the floor. He finds the ready shooter and makes sure he gets fed. Here's the dude. And again for three. There it is, a shot that puts him tied at the top of the record books. Well, Greg, is now tied for the mark for most threes in a single game. In one word, amazing. As a playmaker, Seasting has a good feel for the game and rewards his guys for getting open. Bucks leading by 17. Here's the dude. Good, another from three. And that is a three that will put him in the record books. A historic performance by a historically good shooter. One of the best games anybody has ever had. So, timeout call here, the first for Indiana. Check out the Eastern Conference standings now that we're in the new year. Look at Milwaukee earning the first place position with a terrific record. And we've seen them perform splendidly pretty much all season long so far. And they're definitely the team to beat. And of course the Pacers just way behind. Pacers trail by 20. Here is Zesting. Eight points for him. Williams, that's good. 
Six Houston. points for Williams. Jerry Seastay. Milwaukee has gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. The pass to the dude. From outside the arc, connects again from distance. I think it's time for him to see a lot of bodies, put plenty of guys on him. I agree. They haven't been able to succeed with single coverage. Time called here. Indiana decides to try it over. Coming off that loss against the Nets. Their defense was all spread out, not connected, leaving lots of holes, which the offense was able to exploit. They just weren't communicating, weren't hustling. I'm sure it was driving coach up the wall. Here is Seasting. Outside Williams. Pass to Seasting. Now here is Carter. Stripped away. Now Kersey. On loads. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. Hey, the field goal percentages tell the full story. One team is playing more smart and efficient basketball. And the other, not so smart. They're playing too fast, not getting good looks, forcing things. Seasting passes to Johnson. Fade away, and he gets the bucket. 13 points for Johnson. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent pass. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Pass to the dude. And another three for Milwaukee. I think he's got to show more fight than that. Can't give up on the play once you get screened. you got to continue to fight through. And Coach is definitely going to be frustrated with that effort. Or lack of one, that is. Johnson inside. He's got 13. And that one is good. Johnson's got 15 points. The story of their offense so far has been just that. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. The dude misses. And so it's Carter who brings the ball up for Indiana. And at home for the next game, it'll be Detroit pulling into town. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Passes it to Seasting. Launches it. Cranes the three-pointer. Seasting's got five points now this quarter. And we don't see Seasting take these often, but he's capable of connecting from distance. Brewer passes to Grevy. Here's the dude from deep three-point land. He got it again. Sensational. The threes are falling. They answer back from distance. This is modern basketball. You got to have that long-distance threat. Here is Seasting. 11 points in the game. And he finishes nicely on the layup. 13 points in the game. Nice job by Jerry Seasting that time to work around the defender, showing a little bit of agility that I wasn't sure he had. And that one's good, the dude. He is having a remarkable first half of three-point man. He's been dialed in since the moment he stepped on the court. And so it's Milwaukee, riding high with a 23-point lead heading into the break. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. Right back after this break. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. We're seeing a tremendous game from the dude. He's been selected, making the most of his opportunities on offense. And the efficiency has become the buzzword. It's not just about counting stats. The percentages matter too. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Seasting passes to Johnson. Here is Seasting. 
fires from 18. That's good, and Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got his third assist on the night. Bucks leading by 21. Here's the dude. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. Guys, it's a one-man show out there. I mean, he looks like he's willing to handle all of the offensive duties for his team. Floats one, Johnson. And there's the pass to Seasting. And it's stolen by Moncrief. And taken away by Johnson. Tipped away. Pass to Moncrief. Got it. Good job in the low post. Moncrief's got six. Nimble play by Moncrief inside the paint. Managing to get past the contact and to a shot. Johnson dishes to Williams. Good. A nice sense of when to move the ball and get the assist. This is why you want the ball movement coach and player movement. And as a result of that, they've made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual player. And taken away by Johnson. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. All of that has to be attributed to the activity at the defensive end. That's right. Those live ball turnovers like rocket fuel for an offense in the other direction. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. Pass to Moncrief, over Carter, and another basket for Milwaukee. Moncrief can do it all. His game is without a hold. For Indiana, they've gone three of three from the field since halftime. There's a screen. Releases, and it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touched by Carter. Bucks leading by 23. Passes it to the dude. From the line. And another one falls. Showing just how dominant he can be. He's just carrying this offense right now. Here is Seasting. 15 points in the game. Here's Johnson. And such a nice move to make the basket work. Johnson's got five points now in the quarter. Well, that time he got the defense off balance with the well-timed pump fake. Nice work. The dude passes to Brewer. It's stolen. And up the court come the Pacers on the break. Now the pass to Kellogg. Chalk up two there. Kellogg's got eight. Nice pass creating the opportunity. Great teamwork on that one. It's Moncrief on the wing. Pass to the dude. The three. And again for three. He's out ahead of the pack on both sides with his scoring so far. Playing with a lot of intensity and refusing to be denied. Timeout called the Pacers. Nice game. Great performance by the dude. And they took that just to stop the bleeding. Giving up way too many threes. And they'll try to make an adjustment. Macy, who's checked in for the Bucks. Number 12, Kyle Macy. And here are the Pacers now. Seasting passes to Williams. Now here's Johnson. He's guarded by Johnson. From six away. And Johnson finishes off inside. Johnson's got seven now in this quarter. That is how you use the shot fake, folks. Lobbed up there for Johnson. An emphatic LU jam. Look at the leaping ability of Johnson. Getting up there to finish off the alley -oop. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Here's Johnson. That one drops for him. Johnson's got nine points here in the second half. Milwaukee leading by 22. Pass to Moncrief. Johnson. 
just five on the clock. Here's the screen, 20 feet out. And it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. Well, I think he shot the ball well, guys, but I don't think he shot it enough. The more shots he gets from here on out, the more they'll stretch out this lead. Seasting passes to Johnson. To the paint. And Carter with the basket on the assist by Johnson. Johnson's got assist number five here tonight. Doesn't get any easier than this. Working it down low and going to work. Macy passes to the dude. From outside, off the mark. And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for Indiana. A nice shot by Carter. Assist goes to Clark Kellogg. For Milwaukee, they've got nearly everything to drop this quarter. They're 7 of 8 from the floor since halftime. The dude sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. Ever since halftime, they have been parked out at the arc. Dropping bomb after bomb. And who can blame them? When you're hitting like this, you got to just keep it going. And there's a whistle. There's a foul. That's going to go on the dude. That is his first foul of the game. And some changes here for the Bucks as he comes in for Mike. Eleven seconds left to play here in the third. Another bucket! Wow! Here in the third, he's really started to heat up from the perimeter. One second left, and that one's good by Henderson. Henderson's got five points so far. And so it's Milwaukee rolling along with a 27-point lead as we wrap up a quarter. The three-point shooting has come fast and furious to the tune of what has become a big-time blowout in progress. We'll return shortly. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. A new lineup here for the Bucks. The Bucks have gone 5 of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter. Bucks foul. Kyle Macy. Second personal foul. Fifth team foul. A different look for Milwaukee. Brewer is checked in for Johnson. And Jerome Kersey subbed in for Moncrief. Jerome Kersey. For Indiana, they've gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Here's Carter. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. I like the play call. Very solid, making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Passes it to Kersey. He kicks to Pressy. Here's the dude, top of the key. Another one goes, incredible. Paul Bressy, really the original point forward, if you will. Such a great passer from the forward position. Carter up top, defended by Macy. The pass to Kellogg. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Williams. Kellogg's got six in the quarter. With no one getting in his way, he goes for the easy money. Excellent play. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. It's obvious he's looking to continue to attack on offense so this lead can expand. And if you were hitting like he is in this one, you would be too. His efficiency has done a lot for them. Feeds to Williams. It's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. And man, is Williams red hot right now. Looking assertive and totally in control on offense. Here's the dude. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. How about the quarter from him? On a tear. The Pacers shooting has been out of this world. 74% from the field. 
Carter against Mason. Carter outside. Pass to Kellogg. Clock at six. Carter against Mason. The shot's good from Carter. Here's the dude. From downtown. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. The Pacers have gone six of nine on their field goal attempt since the start of the fourth quarter. Seasting passes to Carter. 146 left in the game. Carter on the wing, four on the clock, and the Pacers tack on two more. He likes to do it himself, but Kellogg will find you if you're open. Milwaukee's gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Let's the three fly. It's rebounded by Indiana. Really hard to think of things they didn't do well in this one. Certainly a dominant night on offense for the Bucks. Mike, this was a confident win, wasn't it? The outcome not in question down the stretch. It wasn't especially close, and they created that separation with their execution and attention to detail. Something a coach always... And got it! Another basket! It's been a barrage of threes here in this last quarter, pouring it on from deep. They were saving their best shooting for last, hitting three after three. And there's a whistle, there's a foul. That's going to go on the dude. Second so that will be his second foul Jesus of the game. We're in the bonus, and we'll go to the line the to shoot two. Pacers. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for the Bucks. Well, I think they've been lethal from beyond the arc this game, no doubt about it. Hard to defend such spot-on shooting. Something else that stands out is how they've shared the ball. They're getting a lot of their points from sharp passing. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Seasting so heady as a point guard. Very comfortable facilitating this offense. Here's the dude. The shot. No good. Good work defensively by Carter. Good. And the nice assist for Williams. Perfect pass there. Understanding how to set up his teammate. For the three. And again. That ties in for third all-time scoring for a single game. What a remarkable night. Absolutely. A game not to be forgotten. He has put on a show. Pass to Seasting. Inside, Kellogg takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Making play after play at the offensive end. Kellogg's on a roll. Good, he hits again. He has been simply unstoppable. And he's now third all-time for points in a game. One for the ages. And there's a whistle. There's a foul. That's going to go on the dude. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. At the line for the Pacers, Jerry Seastain. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. The first free throw is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Mike, they've captured an impressive lead. Oh, yeah. They're in the driver's seat right now, Kev. Both hands on the wheel. Hangs home the trifecta. And this run has helped seal the win. Give them credit for executing down the stretch. Nice work. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. And they couldn't be stopped here tonight, Mike. The crowd appreciated how hard they worked to get this win. It was inspiring. Yeah, they got to feel good about their performance tonight. Always fun to play this way in front of your home fans. And that'll wrap it up, folks. Clark Kellogg, Mike Fratello, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our 2K team, 
This is Kevin Harlan signing off. See you later.